Welcome, I'm Katherine Kowalczyk. I'm the director of NH Docs, and today we have both, uh, both Yulia, who is the director of Eating an Elephant, and Margarita with us right now. And uh, thank you so much for sharing your film with us. It's one of my favorite films. It gives me goosebumps every time I watch it. Um, but I have to ask my first question to you, Yulia, is how did you come to start making films? Because I know your career was very different. Как ты начала вообще снимать кино? Потому что, ну, она говорит, что твоя карьера была довольно разной. Как ты к этому пришла? Я буду говорить по-русски. Я много лет работала фотографом. И к определенному моменту я поняла, что... Эта профессия для меня очень понятна, уже очень исчерпана, и э, мне хотелось развиваться. И э, совсем недавно, буквально шесть лет назад, я поступила в киношколу во взрослом уже возрасте. Кир, переведи, пожалуйста. Uh, so, uh, she's been working as a photographer for many years, and then once she just realized that she wants to develop herself, to grow up, and uh, she uh, went to there uh, j just six years ago, uh, so in quite adult age, she uh, went to uh, learn uh, to be a director, movie director. И я сделала, сняла несколько короткометражных фильмов, как любой студент и начинающий режиссер. И uh, я снимала uh, со ролики uh, социальные, uh, и мы познакомились с Маргаритой, и она попросила снять социальный ролик для ее uh, начинающего проекта тогда, тогда еще только стартовавшего проекта. And uh, so uh, when she started to learn as a normal student, she made some short uh, movies, and uh, then she, uh, tried, she started to try to shoot uh, like social uh, social short movies and then uh, she met me actually and I was already founder of the Interaction Inclusive Project and I asked Julia that I want to shoot some short uh, movies uh, for the, our company. И когда я познакомилась с ребятами и я просто влюбилась в них, мы сняли два хороших ролика очень uh, получивших большую зрительскую аудиторию. И uh, я поняла, что те чувства, которые дали мне ребята, то, что они uh, сделали со мной, я как художник, как режиссер uh, должна обязательно поделиться этим со зрителем, с uh, какой-то максимально большой аудиторией, чтобы они полюбили их так же, как я. И мы начали с двух фильмов. Uh, which was quite successful, so many people in social media shared them and watched them. And um, uh, Julia uh, wanted to share the feelings, uh, the feelings which she gets uh, when she met our guys, our guys with Down syndrome, and she wanted as an artist to share these feelings with the audience. And there are so many feelings. This is, I'm so impressed with the way you were able to show all of the drama. Um, did you find that difficult to, to get so personal and see all these interactions between the guys? Or was it easy to, to get involved and to shoot with them? Насколько было, ну, Кэтрин впечатлена тем, что ты показала такую драму взаимоотношений между ребятами, и насколько было сложно в эту во всю историю эмоционально войти и потом поделиться этими чувствами, вот именно увидеть и показать это взаимодействие. Я воспринимаю ребят как обычных, наверное, немножко как детей, и и с очень, очень большим интересом, и вот как бы жить с ними, наблюдать их, было, в общем-то, очень, очень интересно, это доставляло огромное удовольствие. И э, самое сложное было потом, э, имея 360 часов материала из этой вот огромной интересной жизни, 
сделать очень простую и в то же время глубокую историю, короткую? Um, it was very interesting uh, for Julia to see uh, the interaction between guys and their feelings. And she was um, involved uh, in their interaction, uh, like as an interaction of normal people. I mean, people without disabilities. And uh, sometimes they behave, okay, sometimes they behave as a children, but uh, normally it's not about syndrome at all. And um, the most difficult things was to make uh, the short and deep story from this a huge amount of materials of 306 hours of um, of shooting so that was the, the challenge to make the story so there there seem to be so many stories in there and <laughs> so many the personalities of these guys are really strong i mean to watch ivan work between all of his lady friends was very funny. Um, <laughs> it must be hard not to get attached to these people. Um, do, do you still keep it now that the movie has been made? Do you still go and visit and have a relationship with everyone? Uh, can I answer because it's, it's uh, both sure. the same for, for, for both of us. Um, our project uh, started, our interaction inclusive project started before the movie uh, starts, the shooting of the movie starts. And actually after the shooting starts, it still continues. So our project uh, is not finished. Uh, our main goal is to change, um, sorry. Um, our main goal is to change um, uh, perception of the Russian society to people uh, with Down syndrome and to share uh, the pictures that we have. I mean, uh, what we know about guys and what we feel about guys. And um, it's uh, during these four years, because it's already four years since we started, uh, our project is developing. So we produce many new Uh, performances. We uh, make some collaboration. We go to international tours, and we still want to grow up as a professional theater. And um, I, I told you about the main goal is to change people's perception. Uh, and the second main goal, actually, to make professional theater with uh, our ensemble and uh, to give them a profession. So uh, to make them um, to make them. Uh, get money for what they do, uh, to make them more socialized and uh, to give them like um, a, a kind of life that uh, they deserve actually, and to, to improve the quality of their life. So I, I know this is, I believe the United States is, this is the premiere. Um, how has it been received at home, the film? Has it made changes? Has it made those those changes in perception? Это премьера вопрос. Я расскажу, как у нас премьера прошла. Она не прошла. Конечно. Yeah, it was, it was um, a kind of uh, disappointed because, uh, not the premiere, but uh, because our offline premiere uh, was going to be on the uh, 21st of March which is International Day of the Rights of People Down with Down Syndrome. And it's going to be in a big movie theater and with big audience, with their stars, with celebrities and all the stuff, and with journalists. But uh, fortunately, uh, it started lockdown in Russia and we canceled offline premiere. Uh, but uh, the, our plan uh, was not only uh, to, show, to show our movie on uh, dog festivals, which uh, have, have an audience, but not so wide. And we wanted to uh, show our movie uh, to as more people as possible. And that's why we uh, decided to show it on TV. So it was shown uh, on, the, on the 20th of March on uh, Russian First channel. Ну, только, and... только на территории России. Ты скажешь, что в Америке это реально премьера. Вот их фестиваль это премьера на территории Америки. 
Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it just. Yeah, we just shown it's only on uh, in only in Russian, only on TV for uh, the TV audience, uh, and uh, so we, we didn't actually have a premiere. Uh, but this TV premiere was uh, very successful because many people uh, wrote to us, uh, and what they said it was uh, absolutely um, and it, the, our win. Uh, what's the word? I have no idea. <laughs> so, um, because people, you, you can see the person who didn't see a movie and who already have seen the movie. Because people who haven't seen the movie, they can tell only something like, uh, or negative, so it's only stereotypes. So they can something negative stereotypes or something too positive stereotypes. Like, you no, know, like sunny people, uh, like uh, children, and that's it. That's uh, the whole tolerance. And uh, people who watched the movie, they were uh, they sharing with us that they found out that people with Down syndrome are personality, that they're different. And they're uh, much more than this stereotype. Um, and I think they are now this audience, and I hope um, in future it will uh, only uh, grow up. Uh, people will uh, change their perception, and they will make uh, another step in a tolerance in interaction with people with disabilities. I hope so. You said that the premiere of the territory of America is the premiere of the festival, right? Ну, я сказала, красиво, красиво. I think you, Yulia, you did capture all of the ups and downs of personalities. You know, one person is shy and one person has, has, like I said, Ivan to me is so much fun because he is a troublemaker and then they all have different hopes and goals and, um, it's amazing that you could capture all of those different goals um, and dreams. And as you follow them, are you planning on making another movie or just more shorts about them? Ты планируешь еще рассказывать какие-то истории, снимать кино с ними? Ребят, ну вообще все, кто смотрел не только фильм, смотрел даже материал, наш материал, все хотят, конечно, продолжения, и все хотят каких-то коротких историй про ребят, продолжения их судьбы, и, но на данный момент, когда пока еще не идут репетиции, пока все закрыто, я ну, об этом не думала, вот. Есть, я не, не планировала это, но по факту, конечно, я очень скучаю, и я думаю, что буду продолжать какие-то совсем короткие истории для разовых каких-то акций, наверное, для, наших, для взаимодействия. Обязательно буду, потому что этих ребят знают все теперь, очень многие, кто смотрит фильмы, все будут узнавать их, и э, они как звезды, и все хотят знать э, про их частную жизнь какую-то. Um, yeah, uh, so um, after after the um, showing movie, um, many people ask us to, because they want to see a continue of the story, of their story. And um, it's, it's, it's not easy to talk right now about it, so it's, it's a great idea to continue to shoot something. And probably uh, Julia will return to shooting some short videos, some short stories. Uh, about guys and uh, for myself I want to add uh, that now there are many um, movie companies in Russia um, uh, connect with us and they want to take some actors for their movie and uh, the best thing I think that uh, they want to shoot them in serial movies so that for me it's, it's the best yeah yeah and uh, I, what, what I love more what I love more in the story that uh, I see that the quality of stories uh, with participation of people with disabilities is grow up. And many people, uh, many professional people told us that our movie, our movie influenced them uh, to make this story. So I, I'm glad that uh, even their level of uh, perception of professional, uh, professional people from from cinema, uh, it has changed because of the movie.
И скажи, пожалуйста, еще от меня, что э, с самого начала это было одной из э, главных целей, чтобы э, наши ребята, ну, чтобы в нашей стране, то я понимаю, что говорила об этом, просто от меня еще добавишь, чтобы в нашей стране э, вошло как-то в, э, в обычную, не знаю, стезю как-то, да, чтобы в, каждом, в разных фильмах ребята с особенностями были не только как особенные герои, а, может быть, как просто второстепенные и, и э, герои, чтобы как можно больше кино задействовало ребят с, ну, с особенностями. И это случилось, и мы счастливы очень, что это получилось. Uh, from from the beginning, from the beginning, uh, our goal was uh, to uh, make it like normal, like uh, normal things uh, is to um, involve people with disabilities uh, to for shooting uh, for movies, and um, not only for like the first uh, first uh, roles for first first parts, but just to join them. Uh, to make uh, to help them join uh, these projects, and uh, luckily it happened. It started to happen. So, this is also a story about you, Rita. Um, you you had a child in the middle of this filming. So, how much of your life were you willing to share with Yulia and with all of us as as viewers as you were going through? Not only all of your, your guys at interaction, but also with you personally and all of, all of the things you were going through in your life at the same time. Um, yeah, uh, you know, um, it was quite uh, comfortable for me uh, to shoot in this story, so I didn't feel actually uh, nothing about shooting uh, during this period. Uh, of course, there was some uh, difficulties um, because you have to think not only about the performance which you set, uh, not about no, about only all organization and some stuff about shooting. And uh, my pregnancy <laughs> was also uh, quite difficult thing in this period. So I ca I can't say that it was stressful, but it was a challenge. It was a real challenge for me. Um, but you know, it's it was so natural. So I I, I didn't feel anything uh, special about shootings. Maybe because I I already uh, went through some documentary because I, I before the, this performance I was participated in another documentary about uh, people with Down syndrome and the performance with people with Down syndrome. But it was absolutely different type of of movie so it was a kind of classic documentary movie about people with down syndrome and their problems and the, the, about their parents and their stories and um what i finally watched in the movie uh it was absolutely my story it wasn't nothing more than uh, it happened even some things it, it was more strong actually <laughs> Uh, in the movie, it was more smooth, probably. And of course, you don't see in the movie all difficulties which I have as an organization, as a founder, as a leader of this project, because it's more about setting and all this stuff. And uh, with um, Julia and our uh, other co-founder, Alessia Avchinikov, who is a producer of Eating Elephant, we went through many challenges uh, this time. and. Uh, the best thing for me is uh, that we are still partners. We're still partners in this project, and it's not connected only uh, for the movie. It's connected with all projects, and we still continue to develop it. What is next for for the filmmaking part for Yulia? Are you you're going to still work on on interaction? Are there other films that you're interested yeah. in making, or is this yeah. your main focus? Ну, я за, этот, за последние полтора, полтора года я сняла еще один фильм тоже про ребят с особенностями. Это документальный фильм про четырех друзей подростков с аутизмом, которые учатся в, кино, в специальном классе киноколледжа. То есть этот фильм тоже уже снят. Uh, after after their uh, eating the elephant, Julia already made another social uh, documentary movie, and this is a story about. It, it's not work for interaction. It's actually her work for other fund, uh, a non-commercial fund, and um, it's a story about four guys 
for teenagers with autism uh, who are students of um, Filmmaker uh, University, Filmmaker School. И uh, сейчас uh, с одним из, из этих ребят мы сейчас снимаем тоже совместный фильм. Вот uh, Артем, ему 18 лет, uh, он uh, делает сам мультфильм. И э, там есть история, в которой параллельно развивается та жизнь, которая у него происходит с друзьями, отношения, и параллельно тот э, история в мультфильме, э, в котором тоже участники все его друзья, и там какие-то свои битвы. И мы с ним уже в течение вот, долгого времени постепенно снимаем тоже вот этот фильм. Мне кажется, он будет очень интересным. Это документальный, да. Документальный, да. Uh, yeah, and after that movie about four guys, she started to work with one with one of their guys, and uh, she she make a movie with them. It's a documentary movie, but um, using um, the cartoons which this guy make. So he he shoots some cartoons movie, and this is a part of the documentary movie about him, his life, and his friends. И мне кажется, что это, ну, то есть, это какой-то такой тоже формат, который я, ну, не встречала, и мне это очень интересно, и как и кинематографисту, и мне как человеку интересно, мне очень интересно общаться с этим парнем, он очень талантливый, неординарно делает этот мультфильм, и еще непонятно, то есть, как бы, финал истории задуман, понятен, но как к нему прийти, пока еще непонятно, и этим мне нравится снимать документальные фильмы очень. So she enjoyed work with this guy. Uh, she thinks that he's very talented and extraordinary person, and um, she just doesn't know how it will be uh, finished, so she's still in process, uh, but she enjoyed this, this work. Wow, thank you so much for this interview and for your film, Eating an Elephant. Um, I think everyone at uh, the, the film festival really enjoyed watching it and we look forward to actually screening it for an audience. Um, and it'll be interesting to, to follow what happens with all these people um, as interaction moves along and grows so i appreciate it. thank you rita thank you yulia and thank you so much have a great day thank you guys Хочу you. тоже сказать спасибо, спасибо за интерес к фильму и uh, сказать, что это наша премьера на американском континенте и мы очень счастливы, что она случилась на их фестивале спасибо большое благодарны за это uh, thank you so much for for the festival and for their future our future audience and we're happy that this is a premiere in united states uh, so yeah we are, we are look forward to uh, everything will be great thank you thank you have a nice day bye bye, bye. thank you